Welcome dear students to this tutorial about punctuation marks. The Merriam-Webster dictionary defines punctuation marks as any of various standardized marks or signs used in punctuations. These are symbols that indicate a structure and organization of written language and intonation in poses to be observed when reading aloud. Some authors consider that capital letters are also used to help us to organize meaning and to structure the sense of our writing. The first punctuation mark that we have is period. This is used to mark the end as of a declarative sentence or an abbreviation. It's important to know that there is no space between the last letter and the period, and you need to use one space between the period and the first letter of the next sentence. Here are some ways or some cases in which we can use a period. First, to mark the end of a sentence which is not a question or an exclamation, including imperative sentence. For example, Quito is the capital of Ecuador, period. The boy plays with his balloon, period. Close the window, please, period. The second case is to indicate an abbreviation. I will be in between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. You see, a.m. and p.m. needs a period to show the, the abbreviation. The third case is a special case. We have three dots. When there is only part of the sentence or a text has been quoted or that is being left up to the reader to complete the rest of the sentence, we are going to use three dots. For example, we have the Lord's Prayer begins. Our Father, who are in heaven, three dots. And another case we have is a full stop after our single word. Sometimes a single word can form the sentence. It is the common case of greetings and farewells. For example, goodbye or hello. In these cases, we use a period after these single words. The comma. The comma is the most complicated punctuation mark that we can have because of the interference we have from the Spanish language. So, the comma we use to add to the meaning of a sentence or to emphasize an eating point or meaning. The comma help us add breathing spaces to sentences they are in. And the comma help us to organize blocks of thoughts or logical groupings. Some uses some cases when we use the comma is to separate phrases, words, or clauses in list. For example, on my, on my birthday, I went to the cinema, a dinner in a restaurant, and went dancing. The meal consisted of soup, fish, chicken, dessert, and coffee. You see, all these items are separated by a comma. The second case is to enclose insertions or comments. The comma is placed on either side of the insertion. For example, China, one of the most powerful nations on earth, has a huge population. You see, the phrase one of the most powerful nations on earth are separated by commas. The third case is to mark off a participial phrase. For example, hearing that her father was in hospital, Jane left work immediately. You see, a comma we have after the last uh, participial phrase. The next use is to use the comma in tag questions. She lives in Paris, doesn't she? We haven't met, have we? You see, after before the tag question, we need to use a comma. The fifth use of the comma is to mark off interjections like please, thank you, yes, and no. For example, yes, I will stay a little longer, thank you. You see, after the words yes and before thank you, we use a comma to separate this. But we need to be careful when to use a comma because it's easy to make mistakes when we are using these punctuation marks. So, don't use a comma to separate the subject from its predicate. Don't use a comma to separate a verb from its object or its subject complement or a preposition from its object. Don't misuse a comma after a coordinating conjunction. And don't use a comma before the first item 
or after the last item of a series. The next and the last punctuation mark that I'm going to talk about is the semicolon. The semicolon is somewhere between a weak full stop or period and a strong comma. We use this to join phrases and sentences without having to use a conjunction like and, but, or any other. We need to keep in mind that uh, we, the semicolon joins phrases or sentences that are thematically linked but independent. And semicolon join only those independent clauses that are closely related in meaning. For example, we have Abdominal exercises help prevent back pain. Proper posture is also important. The auditors made six recommendations. However, only one has adopted so far. If you can notice, there are two independent clauses, but in both cases, they refer to the same topic. I hope these tips of writing will help you to develop your assignments for this semester. Thank you so much.